One of the main strengths of Timer Pro is that it allows you to organize the way you access your data. For instance, here's Get Part. Under Get Part, you can see we've got small, medium, and large. Under large, we've got light and heavy. Under heavy, over 20 pounds, two person. Under two person, easy to handle, awkward to handle. Now, the way we present that to you on the uh, device itself is you'll notice that uh, the Get Part is followed by dot, dot, dot. There's no dot, dot, dot here. That means that there's more information in here. So if you tap on the Get Part, here's your three options. Small, medium, and large appearing here. Now there's options under large, so it's followed by dot, dot, dot. So we touch on the large here, then you're drilling down to your light and heavy. Click on the heavy, there's your over two, 20 pounds and two person. And there's your last level here. So it makes it easy for you to, uh, to make your selections here. Now in actual fact, when you're running this study, if I do get part and I do small, right? Notice down here it changed, down here it says get part small, right? And it returned me to the highest level. So I hit the time now, and I do a get part, and now I'm doing a large, and I'm doing light. At that point it's going to return me to the top level again, and you can see what it's done, it's concatenated the data together. So you get get part, large, light here now, right? And if I do it one more time, hit the time, I'm going to do a get part, we're going to do a large, we're going to do a heavy, we can do over 20 pounds and now you can see it's put all that information together down here and but when i finished it took me back to the first level so every time what's happening is you're drilling down when you find an end level item it bounces back to the first level right now there may be times when you don't want that to happen so how can we take care of that let's go back to the template now if i go into the template and i put a colon at the end of the get part right it's not going to go back any it's not going to go back that level it's going to stay down here so to show you that working in the device here if i come in here and i select my elements down at the bottom here let's so tap on elements and we're going to go to the get part here and we're going to edit that and at the end of that what we're going to do is we're going to add a colon so we go in here and we look for the colon and we put it in here so now the uh, data on the device is the same as if it is on the uh, the PDA on the PC. Of course, you normally want you'd know that ahead of time, so you download it, so you wouldn't have to do this over here. We use the back button up here to return to our data collection, and now if I do the next one here, right? So I do a get part, and then I do a small. Notice down here it only put the small in here, right? And it didn't take me back up. It's leaving me in this level. And this can be very useful if you organize your data in certain ways so that all of the data relating to a particular situation is under one choice. You can use the colon to control that. So again, I can type uh, medium if I want to do that, hit the time. I do large and I do light. You'll see it puts the large and the light down here, right? So we're not getting to get part here. It's, it's not giving us that piece of the, of the drill down. I do the other one, which is going to be uh, large, heavy, and then uh, over 20 pounds. It's the same down here. You can see I'm not getting the get part. So the colon here is keeping you down at that level and not allowing you to go back up. And as I say, that can really speed data entry in some areas and allow you to organize your data in a way to make it easy for you to use. Now you can use this colon effect anywhere in your structure, but you can only use it once down a particular path. So for instance here, if I remove it from the get part, and let's say I'm going to put it now under my large here. Right? Again, you can only use it once within a particular branch if you like drilling down here. So let's see how this works here. So now I'll bring up the uh, PDA here. I'm going to edit the elements again. I'm going to edit this one here because I want to take out the uh, the colon in there. So I'll go to the end here and just use the backspace to take it out. And we're going to now put it under the large. So we come down here to the large. We edit that. And we're going to just go to the end here. And we're going to find the symbol and put the colon in here. Now, if our logic is correct, it should stay down under the large. Now, it shouldn't come back up when we do this now. So we'll use the back up here to go back to our data collection. And now we hit on the time. Right? And we do a get part. Let's do a get part medium. You see it put that in there. Right? Gave me the whole thing here. Right? Hit the time. And then we're going to do a get part. We're going to do a large. And now we're going to put light in there. You see, it only gave me the light. It's stopping the, the it's stopping any concatenation for what happens before the colon here. Right? Hit the time again, 
And now it stays down there, it doesn't go back up, and I can do heavy over 20 pounds. And it puts in just the heavy and the 20 pounds down here. Right? So again, you can use it to control the flow, but again, there can only be one colon in the whole branch here. And usually that's more than adequate. You can sort your data around, uh, around about that, uh, that, that uh, characteristic there. And again, if you do heavy, two person, awkward to handle. Right? You see it's going to put them all in there for you down here. Right, so you've got everything you need here. So the use of the colon is a very good way to actually, if you want to go back up, you just touch the level you want to go back to. So in other words, I do get part, I do large, I do light, it stays down there. If I want to go back to the large options, I touch the large, and there's my small, medium, and large. If I want to go back to the top, you just touch the top level, and it takes you back up. So again, an ideal way to organize your data to make it easy for you to access uh, groups of elements.